the very first show episode video in my long running series, Wikipedia Wednesday. light over here. Most pieces of uranium glass are 
are considered to be harmless and only negligibly radioactive. The most common color of uranium glass is pale yellowish green, which in the 1930s led to the nickname Vaseline glass, based on a perceived resemblance to the appearance, which was a yellow-green color of Vaseline brand petroleum jelly as formulated and commercially sold. Specialized collectors still define Vaseline glass as transparent or semi-transparent uranium glass in this specific color. Vaseline glass is sometimes used as a synonym for any uranium glass, especially in the United States but this usage is frowned upon. Since Vaseline brand petroleum jelly was only yellow, not other colors, the term is sometimes applied to other types of glass based on certain aspects of their superficial appearance in normal light, regardless of actual uranium content which requires a black light test to verify the characteristic green fluorescence. In the United Kingdom and Australia, the term Vaseline glass can be used to refer to any type of translucent glass. So, other colors. Several other common subtypes of uranium glass have their own nicknames. Custard glass is opaque or semi-opaque, pale yellow. Jadeite glass is opaque or semi-opaque, pale green. Initially, the name was trademarked as Jadeite. Although this is sometimes overcorrected in modern usage to Jadeite. Just a different spelling. Depression glass, which is transparent or semi-transparent, pale green. Burmese glass, which is opaque glass that shades from pink to yellow. However, like Vaseline, the terms custard or and jadeite are often applied on the basis of superficial appearance rather than uranium content. Similarly, depression glass is also a general description for any piece of glassware manufactured during the Great Depression, regardless of appearance or formula. History. So, pre-industrial usage. The use of uranium glass dates back to at least 79 A.D., the date of the mosaic containing yellow glass with 1% uranium oxide found in a Roman villa on Cape Pospipo. Pospipo in the Bay of Naples, Italy, by R.T. Gunther of the University of Oxford in 19. Starting in the late Middle Ages, pitchblende was extracted from the Hasberg silver mines in Chequem. Chequem. 
Joachim style Bohemia and was used as a coloring agent in the local glassmaking industry. Martin Klapthroff, who discovered uranium, later experimented with the use of the element as a glass colorant. Usage Uranium glass is used as one of several intermediate glasses in what is known to scientific glass blowers as graded seal. This is typically used in glass to metal seals such as tungsten and such as Kovar, as an intermediary glass between the metal ceiling glass and lower expansion borosilicate glass. So, modern production. Uranium glass became popular in the mid century, with its period of greatest popularity being from the 1880s to the 1920s. The first major producer of items made of uranium glass is commonly recognized as Austrian Franz Xaver Riedel, who named the yellow yellow-green varieties of the glass Anagilb and Anagrun, respectively, in honor of his daughter, Anna Maria. Riedel was a prolific blower of uranium glass in Unterpolan from 1830 to 1848. By the 40s, many other European glassworks began to produce uranium glass items and developed new varieties of uranium glass. The Baccarat glassworks in France created an opaque green uranium glass, which they named Chrysoprase from its similarity to that green form of chalcedony. At the end of the 19th century, glassmakers discovered that uranium glass with certain mineral additions could be tempered at high temperatures, including varying degrees of microcrystallization. This produced a range of increasingly opaque glasses from the traditional transparent yellow or yellow-green to an opaque white. During the Depression years, more iron oxide was added to the mixture to match the popular preferences for a greener glass. This material a glass ceramic acquired the name Vaseline glass because of its supposedly similar appearance to petroleum jelly. Today, a few manufacturers continue the Vaseline glass tradition. Fenton glass, Mosser glass, Gibson glass, and Jack Loranger. U.S. production of uranium glass ceased in the middle years of World War II because of the government's confiscation of uranium supplies for the Manhattan Project from 1942 to 1958. After the restoration,
restrictions in the United States were eased, several firms resumed production of uranium glass, including Fenton and Mosser, though uranium was still regulated as a strategic material. Following the Cold War, restrictions on uranium glass were completely lifted. During this time, many older pieces entered the free market, and new pieces continued to be produced in small quantities into the 2000s. Other glasses suggested to read about uh, are Carnival Glass, Depression Glass, Fiesta Wear, Sievert, Uranium Tile, Sensor Sorry. So, that is Uranium was the first in what will hopefully be uh, many Wikipedia Wednesdays. So, yeah. <laughs> Not very green over here. Under the regular line. Over here. Yeah. So anyway. Basement.